those child's folks. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> it's the nicest yeah. thing. Chilling in child's pose. Okay, so up to you. Bringing your knee. I'm gonna my, mute your microphones. Bringing your knees together in the center of the mat, or knees towards the outside of the mat. Let's slowly sink your hips towards the heels. Big toes together if you've got your knees out. Arms out long in front of you and sink your chest and upper body and your forehead all the way down to the mat. Place your hands and palms on the mat as well and start to deepen your breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And start to think about what the word warrior or the term warrior means to you. So we know old fashioned or warriors from our history books. But we can also think of warriors in our modern life. What words come up? In what way would you describe them? What strengths and powers do they have? And maybe which weaknesses? What can you learn from them? Choose something that you admire them for. And that maybe you're missing within yourself. And during this practice, try to imagine to have that same strength, those same powers, and challenge yourself. Set an intention. And take one more deep breath in, a long breath out. On your next inhale, slowly lift the head, lift the fingertips, and lift your elbows, but keep lowering your child's pose. So we want to stretch out the shoulders and the arms in, pushing the fingertips like spider hands into the mat. And breathe in. Just one more breath. And on the next inhale, you'll place your hands on the mat again. Slowly lift the upper body up. Come to all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, and knees either to the outside of the mat still or together. We're going to open the chest and shoulders here, so you choose and you want to open your hips at the same time. If you do, keep your hips wide, keep your knees wide. If you don't, keep your knees in center. Place your left hand underneath the face so your hands and arm are completely in line with the head. And on an inhale, lift the right arm up high to the sky. Look up. 
Feel how your palm, your fingertips are pushing into the mat away from the body and your chest and right side body opening up. Inhale here, reach up all the way and exhale, slowly bring it down. Replace your left hand by your right. Same on the other side. Hands and shoulder in line underneath the head. Inhale, lift the right arm up high. Push your fingertips and palm into the mat. Shoulders strong and away from the body. Inhale here. Reach your hands even higher. Exhale, bring it down. Same again. Inhale, lift your right arm up high. Find your alignment. And maybe on an exhale, pull your right arm all the way backwards so your chest is opening even more. You feel a little twist in your waist, but your hips are still pointing forward. And exhale, replace your hands, same on the other side. Inhale, lift the left arm up high. Reach, reach, reach. And then pull your left arm backwards. Feel a twist in your waist, opening in the chest, hips pointing forward. And strong arms. Inhale. And exhale backwards. Oh, drop it down. Inhale, lift the right arm up high. Just one time here. Quickly open. And on an exhale, take your right arm up and underneath. Right hand on the mat, shoulder, cheek and head as well. And place your left arm out long in front of you with your fingertips touching the mat. Or to your lower back or to the inside of your right thigh. Wherever you are, try to roll your left shoulder back and look up towards the sky. It doesn't all have to look the same. You just try to create the sensation of a strong open body. Rolling the shoulders away from the head and the neck. And opening here. Take one more breath. And on your next exhale, slowly release. Take your right hand and place it next to your face. Push through your left hand. Come all the way up. Take your right arm up high. And exhale down. Place your right hand underneath the head again. And again, inhale. Lift the left arm up. Exhale. Twist, thread the needle, hand, shoulder, and chin. Sorry, hand, shoulder, and, and cheek on the mat. Right arm out in front of you. Fingertips on the mat. Or to your lower back on the inside of your left thigh. Wherever you are, roll your right shoulder backwards. Try to look up. Stay strong in the body. Don't just lay here. Keep breathing. Remember your intention. Remember why you're here. Take one more breath. And on an exhale, slowly release. Place your hands next to your head, to your face. Push through your right hand and lift the left arm all the way up high. Open the chest. And exhale, bring it down back to center. Place your hands underneath the wrists, knees underneath the hips. From here, just move back and forward. And go to one of the wrists. 
just a few times in your regular all fours. And come to center and turn around your right hand so your fingers are now facing the kneecap. Stay here for a couple of breaths and move back and forth again. And turn around your hands. Come back to four points. Straight to the other side. Turn around the left hand facing the kneecap. Find your balance. Activate your core and move back and forth. Keep breathing. And slowly back to center, all fours, and inhale, drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, and look up, cow pose. Exhale, come all the way up, hollow your back, or hollow your belly, cat pose. Inhale for cow, really exaggerate the movement and move from the breath. And exhale, cat. Think of a black Halloween cat. Inhale, come. Two more. Exhale, cat. And inhale, last cow here. Exhale, cat. Great. Come back to all fours. Roll the shoulders towards the right, hinge to the right side of the mat, and then roll all the way forward and towards your left. Slowly come back, bringing your hips to your heels, and come here making circles, warming up the hips, the arms. And focusing on the breath. And then switch sides. You want to go opposite circle now. Find your own rhythm. And come back to center. Great. Place your hands out long in front of you. Bring your elbows on the mat. So if you practice with us, you know that this can be our dolphin. But no, we're going to do it, not on there. Straight into puppy posture. So bring your heart space, bring your chest towards the floor. And slowly also bring your forehead or your chin onto the floor. Find what feels right for you. We've just started, so don't push yourself into it. But really try and feel a big stretch here in your shoulders and the stretch in your back. Use a couple of breaths here. And inhale, slowly lift the head. Slide the upper body between the arms, chest between the shoulders, and point your collarbones forward. So these bones we have just underneath the neck are the throat. Suck your navel in, so we don't want to have the belly on the floor. We want to keep it sucked. Activate your legs, but try to relax your bum. Keep pushing through your elbows. Shoulders low, head up high, into your sphinx pose. Inhale. And on exhale, slowly release. Hands next to the chest, inhale for cobra. 
exhale down. Hands next to your mat, so a little bit wider. Inhale, cobra. And exhale down. Hands super wide, wide cobra. Inhale. And exhale down. Beautiful. Place your hands next to your chest again. Tuck the toes under. Lift the kneecaps and push into plank. Take three breaths in your plan, really activating the core and the spine, warming up the complete body. When you're in your plan, try to keep your bum low and push your heels towards the back of the mat or maybe a wall behind you. Your shoulders in line with the wrist. Maybe look down and look a tiny bit forward. You don't want to lift the head too much. One more breath. Almost there. Inhale. And exhale. Lift the hips. Lift the body. Come into your down dog. Keep your heels lifted. And start to move your knees. Walk your dog. And check in with the body. Spread your fingertips wide. Finger, sorry, your fingers wide. Fingertips into the mat. And create that little vacuum ball in the palm of your hand. So the outsides of your hand will probably still touch the mat, but there might be a little bit of air just underneath the point of your index finger and thumb in between there. Keep moving the legs. Shoulders away from the ears, hips up high. And on your next exhale, Maybe push your right heel down. It doesn't have to touch the floor. Let's see how far you can get. Inhale. And exhale. Push your left heel down. Again, doesn't have to touch the floor. We've only just started. Take it easy. And inhale. Look forward. Bend the knees. And baby steps to the front of your mat. Feet between the hands. Keep your fingertips on the mat and inhale, halfway lift. Try to make your spine as flat and straight as possible. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands on your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands on your thighs, halfway lift. Again. Lengthen the spine, activate your core, suck the navel in and keep the spine and core as straight as possible, even your neck is in the same line. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees and circle the arms up high into standing. Maybe take a slight back bend and palms through center next to your sides. The last one on mountain pose. Cool. All right, take a breath here. Exhale, bend the knees, circle the arms up high, take a slight back bend and exhale, cut your palms through center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, your version, so hands on the mat, on your shins or your thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms up high, take your back bend. And exhale, mountain. One breath. And inhale, lift the arms. Grab your left wrist. Reach the left arm up high and bend or tilt to your right. Only a tiny bit. Exhale, come back to center. Switch sides. Grab your right wrist. Reach up, tilt to your left. Come back to center and exhale. Bring your palms together, straight to center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Place your hands on the mat, step your right foot back. Come into low lunge. Place your hands next to your foot, or maybe completely on the mat, your fingers next to your foot, or your hands palms on the mat. 
So open the chest and look up. Find some movement. Activate the legs. Stretch out through the back calf. And on an exhale, drop the back knee, drop your back foot, and slowly roll the hips all the way back until your knee and then your hip are in line. Then lift the left foot and place your heel on the mat. So your left leg is all the way out now. If this is too much, slightly bend your left knee. If you can, you can straighten the leg. Inhale, lift the head, straighten the back, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift again, and exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, and exhale, fold. Beautiful. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Feeling the stretch all along the back side of your left leg. Relax in the head, leg and shoulders. And keep in that knee in line with the hip. Inhale. And exhale. Look forward. Place your left foot on the mat again. Frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes under. Lift the knee and set the left foot next to your right. Come into your plank. Inhale here. And exhale. Bend the knees. Place them on the mat. Hinge the shoulders over the wrists. Bend the elbows. Keep it close into your side body. Chest, knees and chin on the mat. Look forward, slide into Cobra, and exhale down. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, push into plank, and straight into down dog. Excellent. Take a breath here. And then we'll do the other side. All right, lift your right foot and place it between the hands. Find some movement into your low lunge. Open the chest, look forward. And when you're ready, on an exhale, drop the back knee and place your foot flat on the mat. Bring your hips all the way backwards until your hip and knee are in line. And then grab your left or your right foot and place your heel on the mat. Find length in the spine, look forward. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, find length. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, last time. And exhale, stay here for a couple of breaths. Again, feeling the stretch all along the back side of your right leg. Relax in the head, neck and shoulders into your Anumanasana or half splits. Inhale, look forward. Place your right foot flat on the mat. Lift the back knee. Sorry, call your toes on and lift the back knee. The right foot next to your left. Come to plank. One breath here. And on an exhale, drop the knees. Hands the shoulders over the wrists. Bend the elbows, chest, knees, and chin on the mat. Inhale, pull that lift. And exhale down. Tuck the toes under. Push into plank. And exhale down. Dog. Excellent. Take a deep breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let go of some heat. Look forward. Bend the knees. 
And now it's up to you. Step up our jump, feet between the hands. So we can walk like this as we do at the start of the practice. Take two steps, left and right. Or jump. If you jump, make sure that not all of your weight is into your shoulders. You want to keep your shoulders super strong. Bend the knees and jump slowly. Inhale your version, halfway lift. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift the arms. Take your back bend, maybe a little bit more this time. Exhale, down to Dasana. Inhale here. And exhale. Again, bend the knees, lift the arms up high. Grip your left wrist and bend to your right. Take a deep breath in. And exhale back to center. Other side, grip your right wrist, tilt to your left. Deep breath in. And exhale back to center. Palms together and cut through the middle all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Place your hands on the mat, slip your right foot back. I'm going to repeat a little bit faster. Get into your low lunge. Exhale, drop the back knee, foot flat on the mat. Bring your hips backwards so that your knee and hip are in line. And step your left foot so your heel is on the mat and your line and your leg straight. Inhale, straighten the back. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. One breath in. Then look forward. Place your left foot on the mat again. Bring your hips forward. Make sure that they are pointing towards the front of the mat. Place your hands on your knees. Knee and then lift up. Great. Here, adjust your stand if you need to. So we want to keep our front ankle in front in line with the knee and this knee below you in line with the center in your hip. Take a deep breath in, maybe grab onto your hips or pray your hands in front of the chest. Activate your hips, activate your thighs and your groins. It's really a really strong pose. Mind look easy, really strong. Inhale, lift your arms up high. And exhale, twist to your left, arms into a T. Keep your shoulders low, your center aligned, super active. And inhale, lift your arms up high again. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist to your left, arms into a T. So the upper body is now exactly as we want it in warrior two. We're pulling knees and legs still warming up. And you're getting slowly used to the pose. Inhale, lift your arms back up, twist to center, frame the front foot, lift the back foot, and knee, step your left foot to the right. For the people that have Chaturanga in their practice, you can take your Chaturangas now. Otherwise, drop your knees on the mat, shoulders over the wrist, bend the elbows, chest, knees and chin. Chaturanga preparation. Inhale, cobra. And exhale down. Tuck the toes under, push into plank. And straight to your down dog. Beautiful. One breath. And then we'll breathe on the same side. On the other side, sorry. Inhale, look forward, step the right foot between the hands. Straight away into your low lunge. And when you're ready, drop the back knee, foot flat on the mat. Inhale, here. Slowly sink the hips back. Foot out long, leg out long, heel on the mat. 
knee and hip in line. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Keep your whole breath. And then look forward. Place your foot flat on the mat and align here. Make sure that your front ankle and knee are in line and your hip and back knee are in line. You can keep your hands on your front knee or in front of your chest for the first couple of breaths. Keep your body active, the hips especially, but also the thighs and the groins. Deep breath in, long breath out. Then lift the arms up high. And on an exhale, twist to your right, arms into a T. Take a breath, keep the shoulders low. Inhale, lift your arms up again, turn back to center. Reach the arms up and on an exhale, twist to your left. Arms into a T. Maybe look past your front middle finger. Inhale. And exhale. Lift the arms. Come back to center. Frame the front foot, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee and come back to plank. Your way to Chaturanga. Knees up high or knees on the mat. Always keep the elbows close into the side body. Inhale, cobra or up dog. So up dog, we've got our thighs lifted as well. Shoulders are super low. And exhale straight into down dog. One breath in. Remember, child's pose is always an option. Look forward, bend the knees, step up or jump, feet between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the arms, grab your left wrist. And then slide or hinge over to your right, as far as you can. Inhale, come up. Switch sides, grab your right wrist, hinge to your left. And exhale back. Bring your palms together, straight through center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bring it down. Place your hands on the mat. Step your right foot back into your low lunge. Stay here. We're not going to, to drop the knee this time. Just find some movement. One breath. And find balance. Front knee in line with the front ankle. Back leg super active. Place your hands on your knee, push your upper body up, and then maybe lift the arms up high. So make sure that you've got your center aligned and also in the center of the mat. Really bend your back knee, bring your front knee in line with the ankle, and then push your back heel backwards. That feels right. You can start to play with that a little bit to see what it feels like. Right. Hands in front of your chest or up to the sky. So we're almost in the first warrior evolution. Only need to work on the back leg. Inhale here. And the same as we did in our preparation. Exhale to your left, arms into a T. Keep 
Keep your back leg super active. Push your heel backwards. Keep your knee and ankle aligned. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, back to center. Beautiful. Bring your front foot, left foot next to your right. Come to plank and go away to vinyasa. So either knees up high or knees on the mat. Elbows close to the side body. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward dog. Cool. Inhale here. And bend your right knee, step the right foot between the hands. Come to your low lunge. Same as we did. Find your balance. Maybe find some more movement. When you feel ready, let's start pointing forward. Hands on the knee, lift the upper body up. Bend your back knee so your center is also the center of the mat, center of the body. Push your heel backwards. Play with it a little bit to see and notice what it feels like. And place your hands in front of the chest or up to the sky. Front knee in line with the front ankle, super strong in your back leg. Inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale, twist to your right, arms into a T. Take a breath here. Inhale, arms up again. Exhale, back to center. Frame the front foot. And your way to Chaturanga. Knees up high or on the mat. Bend the elbows. Inhale to Cobra or up dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Take three breaths in. Catch your breath. Blow out through the mouth and let go of some heat. And check your posture. Are your hands and fingers widely spread? Hips up high, shoulders away from the ears. Only bend your or bring your heels down if you really feel like this is appropriate. Don't want any injured injuries. Right, inhale, bend the right knee and lift the right leg all the way up high, straighten the leg. Bend your knee, look underneath the right shoulder. A little bit of our down dog practice. Exhale, come back to center, bring your knee to your nose. Keep lifted. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. And then bring your knee forward again and step the foot between the hands. Come to your low lunge. Again, hands on the knee, push the upper body up. Bend your back knee. Push your heel backwards. Lift the arms up high for one crescent lunge, one breath in, and then step your back foot on a 45 degree angle. So just trust the ground to the floor below you. Lift your foot a tiny bit and step in a 45 degree angle. Great, inhale, warrior one. All right, let's align. So we have our front knee in line with the front ankle. All of your leg is super active. We already adjusted our stance, so it should be that your center and your core, your shoulders and your head are all in one line. We're not hinging forwards and we're not hinging backwards, so you're super straight. Your back leg is active all the way until your heel. Four corners of your feet pushing into the mat. Keep your toes relaxed. 
and your hips up. Also pointing forward, keep your shoulders low, lift the arms up high. Strong warrior one. Inhale. And exhale. Keep checking in with the body. As we stand here, it's very, very easy just to relax your front leg and hang backwards or to the opposite, depending on your body. Keep everything active and stay aware. Inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale, twist to your left, bring your arms into a T shape. You want to keep the shoulders low. If you feel like you can, you can bring your or step your foot a little bit wider, or you can bring it even closer up to you. Again, check in with the body. Knee in line with the ankle, super strong here, back leg. Four corners of each foot are pushing into the floor. Keep the toes relaxed. Shoulders low, center in line. And look past your front middle finger. Worry two. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your arms up high again. Exhale, twist to center. Curl the back toes under. Get ready to come down. Finger front foot, right foot next to your left. Your way to Chaturanga. Knees high or knees on the mat. I'm going to stay on the mat to get my breath. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. And exhale, push into plank, down dog. One breath, and we'll repeat. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Bend the knee, and open. Look underneath the left shoulder. Keep your arms and fingers strong. Let's strong, open hips. Exhale, come back to center. Keep your knee bent and bring it to your nose. Inhale, lift the leg, straighten. Exhale, bend, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. And exhale, straight, sorry, bend, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift, bend the knee, come all the way forward, place your foot between the hands, come into your low lunge. Hands on your knee, front knee, and lift the upper body. Bend the back knee, push the heel backwards. Keep your center aligned. Shoulders low, hips pointing forward. Knee in line with the ankle, lift the arms. Keep your back leg super active. And then again, trust the ground or so the floor below you and step your foot in a 45 degree angle. Right. Keep your hips pointing forward, so it's very easy just to open up here. We don't want to square the hips. A lot of people, or a lot of times you will hear people saying square your hips. But I'm kind of allergic <laughs> to squaring the hips. Not everyone has square hips. And especially in the female body, it's very uncommon to have square hips. So just make sure that the hip bones are pointing forward. Inhale here, reach up and then twist on an exhale, open to your right. Arms into a T, warrior two. Check in with the body, four corners of the feet pushing into the floor, both legs super active, front knee in line with the ankle, arms into a T, shoulders low. Look past your front middle finger. Keep breathing and notice how this feels for you. Does it make you feel open and strong? 
to make you feel like you can do anything or maybe even fragile. Inhale, lift your arms up again. Twist towards the front of your mat. Then free your front foot. Come back to your plank. Your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. And exhale, Downward Dog. Excellent. Three breaths. And we will do the same repetition one more time, getting into worry one and two, and start our cool down. If you want, you can come to child's pose now and really catch your breath. We'll stay here in your down dog. And in this next round, I want you to think of your intention. What is it that you showed up with today and that you want to work on? Or that you admire warriors for and something that you want as well or want to manifest in your life. Try to stay really aware of all the details and how it feels in your body. Try to make it your own and don't just follow whatever I say or you see really should feel like it works and it's suiting to your body. On your next inhale, bend your right knee and lift the leg up high. Bend the knee, open the hip, look underneath the right elbow or right arm. Exhale, come back to center, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. And place your foot between the hands. Come into your crescent lunge, hands on your knee. Lift the upper body. Bend the back knee, push your heel back. Check in with the body, and when you're ready, when you're steady, lift the arms. Really try to keep the shoulders low. One breath in. Trust the floor below you, and step your foot in a 45 degree angle. Check in again. How are you standing? Inhale. Think warrior one. What does this mean? How do you feel? Do you feel strong and empowered? And you lift your arms up high. Twist open to your left, arms into a T. Who are you to? Keep checking in with the body. And really try to relax your toes. With time, you will find more balance and strength here. It really just takes practice. And inhale, lift your arms up high again. Two ways back to the front. Tuck the back toes under, back into your crescent lunge. And let's take one twist here. On an exhale, come to your right arms into a T. Maybe look towards the back. So we are used to look past the front middle finger. This time try to look past your back middle finger. Inhale. Lift the arms. Exhale, back to center. Frame the front foot. Plank and Chaturanga, your way. And forward. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. One breath. And 
and inhale in the left leg up high. Bend the knee, open the hip, look underneath the left shoulder. Deep breaths in. And on an exhale, twist back, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. And exhale, knee to right elbow. Last one. Inhale, lift. And exhale, bring it forward. Step your foot between your hands. All right, check in. Arms and your knees, lift the upper body. Bend your back knee, push your heel backwards. Bring everything in center. Shoulders low, bring, lift the arms. One breath. And on an exhale, step your back foot to 45 degree angle. Keep your hips pointing forward. Knee in line with the ankle, strong in the legs. Inhale. And exhale. Twist to your right, opening your teeth. Warrior two. And pass your front middle finger. Keep the shoulders long. Inhale here, lift your arms up, turn back to center, back toes curled under into your crescent lunge, lift the arms and twist to your left, arms into a T. When you're here and you feel steady, lift by your, your back middle finger. You should be on your left side now. Stay strong. Stay aligned. Ah. You lose balance, just come back in. Okay, if you lift the arms up high, come back to center. Frame the front foot. Step into plank, last chaturanga. You hang hinge the shoulders over the wrist. Bend the elbows, cobra are up dog. And exhale, down dog. Bring your knees onto the mat, out wide, big toes to touch, and come to your child's pose. And take a few deep breaths in here. And long breaths out. Notice how you feel. On your next inhale, lift the forehead, <laughs> lift your head completely. Lift the upper body and move or swing your feet to one side to come to sit on your bum. Hug the knees into the chest in front of you. And let's take a few rolls onto the mat and back up. Find some playfulness. And then bring your feet out long. And hug the knees in while you come to lay flat on your back. So I really want to keep the lower belly, the lower belly, sorry, the lower back also pushing into the mat. Your shoulders on the mat. And just have the knees in as far as you can. If your knees are here, absolutely fine. Then hold on to your right knee and straighten the left leg all the way out, all the way up to the sky. Point your toes up or point your toes towards your face. 
and take some uh, you call it ankle circles here, perfect circles, one way, then the other. And start to draw a big line with your left foot all the way down. Keep your left straight while you keep your right knee hugged in. Before you touch the floor, again lift the left leg up high. Keep your foot active, leg straight. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale, you can bring it all the way down. Release. Let your foot plant on the floor. And take your right knee up and over to your left for a supine twist. Hands in line with the right shoulder and keep both shoulders on the mat while you push your left knee down. Again, doesn't have to touch the mat or the floor below you. Take a deep breath in and on an exhale, come deeper into your supine twist. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, slowly get out. Have both knees into the chest. Just one breath. And then straighten the right leg all the way up high. Toes active. Take some foot circles one way and then the other. And keep your heel pointing or at least the foot active. And then slide the foot down, keep your leg as straight as possible. Before it drops on the floor, lift it back up. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Keep your lower back and shoulders on the floor. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. Great. You can now release, drop the heel, lift the left leg, left knee up and over. Left hand in line with the shoulder. And exhale. Come into your twist. Keep your shoulders on the mat. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, slowly roll back. Okay, you can choose here, either take in a happy baby or a shoulder stand or maybe bridge pose, whatever feels right or whatever you feel like you need right now. I'm just going to chill here for a second. Take it easy. If you want a happy baby, grab the soles of the feet and push your heels and feet up to the sky.
Inhale here. And exhale when you're ready. Come to lay flat on your mat. Let your feet flow out to either side. Hands next to your hips. Shoulders on the mat. Slightly chuck the chin into chin. So your neck is long. And take a deep breath in. And long breath, sigh it out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. One more. Inhale. Exhale, sigh. And just for a moment longer, we'll stay here in Savasana. Same present. And reflect on the practice. What have we learned? What was new? What do you want to improve? So the yogic philosophy exists out of many stories and many myths. One of those myths is about the yogic warrior, that's Veravadra. Veravadra has a thousand heads, a thousand eyes, a thousand feet, and a thousand clubs. He is the fiercest and most fearsome form of the Hindu god Shiva. Shiva was married to Sati. But her father, Daksha, wasn't pleased with that. One day, Sati attended an offering to, to which Shiva was an invented. During an argument between Sati and her dead Daksha, she was hurt so much she committed suicide. When Shavi heard that, he ripped a lock of hair from his head and stomped it into the floor. From this action, Vida Avadra arises. He seeks revenge on Daksha and confronts him. All warrior variations represent Vida Avadra holding two swords, preparing to defend and fight if necessary. Vida Avadra characterizes courage, selfless service, and unconditional loyalty. It embodies the meaning of life, the breath, and finding purpose free from distraction. When we start practicing yoga, our mat is our better field and the mind is our enemy. Over time, we strengthen the body and mind and learn to defeat our inner challenge. Start to deepen your breath. When you're ready, move on to either left or right in a fetal position. So slowly make your way with your eyes closed into meditation pose. Put your hands in your knees, palms up to the sky. Lengthen the spine and chin in line with the mat. 
And thank yourself for taking the time to practice, for being curious, and learning something new, for being present, and pay attention and awareness, create awareness. Reveal your inner warrior. Namaste. Let me unmute you all. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are we feeling, everyone? 